When you look at that game, one of the things I had to think about was how big that stop at the end of the first half was. Oh yeah, I told our guys, boy, we were gassed and I was a little worried, but uh, you know, to the guys' credit, we uh, we made a play there right before half. I think that was real big, you know, didn't give them any momentum. That's kind of a, um, you know, a momentum stopper right there. They got they got down there inside the red zone and we were able to stop them. You know, I, I, you know it, it, it still follows that same thing I've talked all year. I think defensively we're playing we're playing real well. Uh, you know, I still a little uh, I'm not gonna say disappointed. I still think we can execute better offensively, uh, but uh, overall very pleased. Well, you know, when you consider that your defense actually ended up tied 7-7 seven to seven with them, that, that's, you know, when your defense scores as much as their offense, you're, you're going to have a good outcome. Right. You know, I, I've just been, you know, very, very pleased. We have been very, our staff's been very pleased. You guys work real hard. Can't say enough about the coaches, staff, uh, preparation. But defensively, I think we're playing about as good as we have in a long time. So, uh, you know, if we can keep doing that and keep making progress on uh, our kicking game and our and our offense, I think we got a chance to do some good stuff. Okay, and early in the game, the offense seemed a little bit choppy. And you were talking about getting gassed at the end of the first. But in the second half, it looked like y'all started wearing them down. Too. Right. Uh, you know, again, I think our offensive line did a real good job. I think we uh, started wearing them down up front, even though they, you know, they're big and physical up front. But uh, we were able to run the ball. And then we hit some big plays, you know, a uh, you know, big long pass to Max. And, you know, we've got some explosiveness. We've just got to get a little more consistent. But, uh, you know, I thought the second half our guys came out and played real, real well. And I, the one play that was just really kind of, uh, we had a couple of plays that just came out of nowhere and ended up real good when uh, uh, when uh, Villa Duval got pulled that uh, pulled ball away. Uh, I mean, he did a good job. You know, we we've, we've uh, you know I think uh, that's one of our big improvements too. Uh, you know, we've created turnovers this year for the most part in, in every game, and that's always big when you can, you know, create turnovers. And then, and then when you take, create one and take it to the house, that, that makes it that much better. Yeah, and, you know, and credit to Dublin. They're they, big. Did, they did not give up. No, no, that's a big, uh, you know, that's that's a big uh, tribute to Coach Cervetto and his staff. I'm telling you, five years ago, uh, he took over a Dublin program that was just about as low as it could get. And, uh, you know, he took some lumps, but uh, he has got them playing very, very competitive. They played hard the whole game. You know, I was impressed with their, with the way they played hard the whole game. So, uh, you know, you got to go put your hats off, tip your hats to them. I, 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 they'll be, they'll, they're will they going to be in the hunt because they just play hard. One thing, uh, I hesitate to bring this up, but onside kicks are uh, they're a hassle for y'all. Well, uh, that's probably my fault. Should have got the hands team out there. I thought it was early enough in the game that they uh, wouldn't come with the onside kick, and we didn't have our hands team out there. And you know, we had a couple of them a little locked up, a little you know, inexperienced players. So uh, we'll certainly address that. Okay. Now you had uh, a really good. Uh, you, you've played a lot of physical teams so far. Right. Now, next week, you got Rosebud Lock coming in here, and unless they've changed some, they're they're always fast. Yeah, they've got some speed. They've got a good back. You know, he, he had a good game against us last year, you know, after we're, it kind of got out of hand. But, you know, they're always going to have some athletes. Uh, I really haven't looked to see what they're doing. They were a spread team, but I've also heard – you know, went to a little, uh, a little more running style game. So, you know, I just have to look and see. I really, uh, I'll be honest with you, I hadn't looked at them, hadn't looked at a single play at them, and I'm really not sure what they are doing right now. Now, you know, football is it's trendy, like everything else. You know, somebody's trying. I was trying to. Are you starting to see more of a move back to the physicality, well, or is speed, spread still kind of at the height? Well, it's within the spread. You know, I think some people, you know, uh, have figured out when you uh, when you're when you're a spread team doesn't mean you have to throw it. And uh, you know, we've played some spread teams that uh, spread you to run the ball. So uh, you know, I think that trend will go. If if you know, I would say you know, coaches look if if you 
if you don't have guys that can pitch and catch the ball, don't pitch and don't pitch it out there and not catch it. Does it? How about running it? So, you know, we've played we've played a couple teams now that were spread teams, but they were very uh, very run heavy. So, you know, Dublin before tonight, you know, they threw the ball about 80 90 percent of the time, but. Uh, you know, kind of bit them in the rear last week against Rio Vista. They threw a bunch of interceptions. So they may have said, hey, we, we better line up and run the ball some, see if we can get physical. So. Okay, so next week we got Rosebud Lot back here. And then right after here. that, kick right in the district play. District play, last non-district game. So, you know, as I told a young man, very important week for us. You know, we've got to get try to get as much done next week as we possibly can heading into district. So. Is that going to be homecoming? Or? Yeah, it is homecoming. It is homecoming. So big night. Okay. Big night for the seniors, big night for all the Crawford Pirates. So. Okay. Appreciate it, Coach. You Next bet. Week. Thanks.